What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode. Um, before I get into this video I want to let you guys know that the new 4B caps, all four colors are in stock and they will be linked down in the description below at 4boutdoors.com so you guys can go pick one up yourself and help support the channel and helps me to continue to bring fun content like this to you guys. Um, so as we get into this I want to let you guys know that I was doing another hunt at the real McCoy ranch and also if you guys would like to book a hunt there all the information will be linked down in the description below and you guys can check it out it's an awesome ranch always a good time hunting at the real McCoy with Jerry and Brennan and everybody and I really encourage you guys to go and uh, at least check it out shoot Jerry texts give him a call and set something up it's an absolute blast and I love the ranch this one was kinda tough um, I had these hogs come out of the Sendero fed down to us about 25 or so yards drew back it was a little bit of a low light situation um, but I settled my pin and flung an arrow and the shot looks like it is way far back it looks like it's in the guts um, from the judging by the blood that we found the arrow was not back in the guts and um, the blood looked good it looked like liver Um, I could tell that it was a little bit far back, and I think what had happened was I drew back, shot, and then I flinched with my bow hand. So that made the arrow kind of fly off to the left just a little bit. You know what, everybody makes um, those little bit of mistakes, but that just means I'm going to spend some more time out in the backyard shooting and practicing, making sure that um, things don't happen like that in, in these situations because I don't like wounding animals I don't like not finding them it's it's definitely no fun but the the weather was perfect that evening it was in the 50s the hogs came out during the daylight which is always um, a whole lot better for you guys obviously because you get to see the animals and the whole hunt and everything go down in the daylight which I like a whole lot better than you know filming after dark a couple of nights actually three or four nights before I shot out of um, that little boar I'd shot a much bigger boar out of that group and so they were real on edge they were already pretty um, pretty spooky which is typical for groups of hogs whenever you shoot multiple pigs out of them they start to get pretty smart a lot of times they'll become way more aware of their surroundings in situations like that um, where you're sitting in the same stand they're coming to the same spots to feed and oftentimes they'll go feed in different places they won't show up to the areas that have hunting pressure they are very intelligent animals and so the, the way to combat that is to either set up a stand and catch them moving elsewhere and hopefully um, you know they'll, they'll be there and, and you can take another shot at them and you don't have to worry about them being as on edge because they feel safer in another area or um, you just wait until they get much much closer or if it if it does happen if the opportunity arises for you and really take your time and and make a right shot make a good shot so I, won't, I wasn't really planning on sharing this one with you but um, I know that I needed to to share everything with you guys because it's uh, it's very important that I share my mistakes because I can sit here and you know talk to you guys about them and, and we can um, learn as we go both of us because there's a lot of different things that I learn new about hunting every day, every week, every month, whatever. Um, so it's fun to kind of talk about some of these hunts and figure out kind of what went wrong and why. Um, I did hit this hog with a two inch mechanical and the penetration looked um, like it blew through the first rib cage and then stopped. I don't think it passed I know it didn't pass through, but I don't think it the broadhead passed through. The arrow definitely stuck in. That's okay. Um, that's part of bow hunting sometimes. I wish that I could have made a better shot. 
there have been a lot of pork in the freezer. That's obviously the end goal whenever you step out into the woods to go hunting is to harvest an animal, put meat in your freezer, and have a good time. And we did have a good time. And the reason why you didn't, your guys aren't seeing very much footage from this hunt is because it was real like fast paced, fast action. And then when we went to track, the weather kind of got nasty on us. It started raining a little bit and I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna ruin a camera and <clears throat> tracking this hog. So I just decided that um, I was just gonna show you guys this little bit and then we're gonna kind of talk about it. And so I feel like I did a pretty good job of kind of uh, describing the situation and helping you guys understand where I went wrong, um, how the animals were pretty much um, really on edge. It kind of took them some time to feed down towards us. And again, low light is um, makes it more difficult for sure. But I hope you, that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the little bit of um, <laughs> the hunting footage that went down. And I have something, uh, it's a new hunting tool that I want to introduce to you guys. And for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you have seen this before. And um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I wanna try to shoot some small game first and then work my way up to pigs. Now this thing, I'm kind of giving you guys some hints right here. It's pretty cool and um, I'm, I'm really, really excited to try it out. I haven't killed anything with it yet, but it is a cold steel blow dart gun. Now it's, they come, that tip is bent, um, they come with these darts right here. They come with some practice ones and then they come with some of these right here, which are pretty, um, pretty wicked looking. And they're single bevel. No, I take that back. They're not single bevel. This is double beveled um, two blade. But and I plan to sharpen this thing so sharp that it will shave. Right now, it's really dull. I mean, it's like really dull. So I want to sharpen this thing up, and I want to start out with some squirrels or some rabbits or something, and then I eventually want to blow this thing through the lungs of a pig and see what uh, could happen um, I'm pretty skeptical I don't know how this is gonna go um, I've seen Tim Wells because it's like the Tim Wells edition blow dart gun and it's pretty cool I've seen him kill like warthogs with it before I, th I think he's killed warthogs but he's killed all kinds of stuff with this thing including a black bear so it ought to be a lot of fun it's gonna be a learning curve no doubt um, I gotta continue to practice with this thing and get more and more accurate, and hopefully get my like air speed up so I can have enough strength or power to blow that dart through an animal, especially something like a pig. And the cool thing about these, I will show you guys, is you shoot this thing and it hits something, it passes through, and then the plastic end pops off. So now you just have this you know, four inch blade dart that is going through the cavity. And if you're lucky, it will exit. Um, but I've, my biggest fear with this thing is a blood trail. So if I do end up getting lucky enough to blow this thing through the lungs of a pig, I'm worried about the blood trail. And obviously the amount of damage it's gonna do is slim to none. So it's probably going to be um, a really long blood trail, a long tracking job, uh, and but you never know. Some some animals um, have the will to survive. Some are very resilient. Well, actually, I think all of them are, but in some cases, you'll find where an animal will only run 20 yards or 30 yards and fall over. So it's going to be something fun and exciting to try out this spring this and this late winter, and I'm excited to share with you guys, so I hope that y'all are excited to see it. It's going to be something a little bit different. I also have a series of bow fishing videos coming up that are going to be playing out this fall as the water warms up and the fish begin to spawn. And I'm very, very excited to um, announce the outfitter that I will be going with and I'm doing some bow fishing with, as well as some bass fishing. It's going to be kind of a new collaboration this spring, and um, Guns and Chicken Strips and myself are very excited for it. And also, um, a lot of magnet fishing coming up too. Jimmy and I have made a trip out here recently, and so we I'm, I'm pretty pumped to share that footage with you guys, and I hope that 
um, y'all will enjoy that as well. But again, before I close this one out, be sure to pick up a 4B cap. These are the OD green and black. And then I also have another one sitting right here. This is the tan front and brown in the back. So you guys will want to pick up some of these. I also have one other color I'll show you. <clears throat> this is the gray front, black back. And then I also have a gray mesh in the front, which is the same I mean, I'm sorry, gray, um, gray like this, not gray mesh, but gray like this, and red in the back, and then the 4B is red. You guys, some of you guys have seen it, but again, that will be linked in the description below at the website at 4Boutdoors.com, so you guys can jump over there and pick some of those up, and again, go and hunt the real McCoy, set you up a hunt, and get down there this spring. The ranch is in McCoy, Texas, it's south of San Antonio, about 45 minutes, and on, there will be a price list in the description, so you guys can um, kind of look at some animals, and also if there's anything else that you could possibly imagine hunting um, Jerry's got it so be sure and if, if you don't see anything that you might want to hunt um, that's right there on that main price list get a hold of Jerry and and he's got it he just doesn't have the, the price list for it yet so um, I'm, I'm very excited to hopefully be hunting on the real McCoy with with some of you guys who have book trips and have shot me a message and let me know that you are going down there and so um, that those will be some fun experiences and a, a lot of fun to film, of course. And I keep, I'm sorry, but I keep looking over here at the screen because my camera's about to die. I've got four minutes of battery life left, so I'm trying to wrap this one up and get it all finished before this thing dies, obviously. And I want to say a big thank you to, to all of you guys for hitting that subscribe button, and be sure to do that if you have not already. Hit the notifications bell right there next to it. Um, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. Leave me a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And share it. Share it. Let's get some of this stuff out there. And um, I'll, I'm going to keep bringing it to you. The hogs are hitting heavy on my leash right now. And we are about to start slinging some darts. And also some lethal injections with a 2-inch mechanical on the end of them. And I'm very pumped for that. Now that deer season's kind of over and out of the way, which I'm pretty sad about. But it, it's okay. And nine months, it'll be here all over again. <laughs> you know, so... Um, looking forward to this upcoming deer season obviously and um, I hope that all of you guys had a successful season and you know what I want to hear about how your season went down in the description below and the last thing I'm gonna leave you guys with is I will be doing some more catch clean and cook videos I hope you guys enjoyed the rattlesnake one um, it's a lot of fun catching the little guys and also I have a cottontail catch clean and cook video coming for you guys and it was um, it was fun I think you guys are gonna enjoy it I know that I really did and um, it was, it was, um, you know what, I, I won't tell you how the cocktail tasted. I will leave that for this, later on this week's video, so you guys can check that one out. But with all that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching. I love each and every one of you. Y'all are amazing, and I will catch you on the next one.